Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we have episode 23 of our Create A Club series. We have got through pre-season. We are ready for our first game of the season. First thing I will say is that um, we've been quite busy in the transfer market um, and we still currently are as well. Um, we may have found a couple of gems so so put you into a context of the story uh the olympic games is going on right now and a few of my players have been called up and i've kept an eye on it and i may have unhinged a few beasts i've got an offer in for one right now i'm waiting to hear back from contract offered etc the rest i have scouted so we'll see what they come back with on the recruitment side of things, if we go to our transfer history and I go back, that is where we left off around Victor Hugo from Flamingo. So if we go a bit further down, you will see that we have brought in Patricio Avas. As Acevedo, I think he's a uh, first half centre half. Um, he's worth thirty five million. We paid four million. Player that scouts are really high on was this Carlo Contreras, central midfielder. We paid peanuts for yet again. He's worth sixty two million pounds now. On the outs on this page uh, okay are you gonna let me do it so Avicido went back on loan to Colo Colo uh, Ilka Alvarez wanted to leave the club uh, we sold him for one and a half million nothing major we just had to get him out if I'm honest We'll continue with the outs over here. John Jaspianson, 12 million to Cole. Adam Wharton wanted a big contract. Wasn't really too keen on giving that sort of type of contract to a three and a half star potential player. We got 37 and a half million for him. Really pleasing to be quite honest. As we go down, you'll see a little bit more, but mainly just loan deals. On the ins, Joe Booth, goalkeeper, paid £900,000 for him. Now worth £16 million. Aaron Moore, we we'll believe we loaned him back out. We, we brought him from QPR for just over £2.5 million. Santiago Velasco, £2.1 million. I think he was a uh, on a youth contract. John Stones need a little bit of leadership at the back. He may not even play, but he's a good player to get in. And on his contract, £46,500 a week for a year. Can't really knock that. The other one I was very intrigued to get in, as you can see here, is four and a half stars. The scouts have been really big on him. I've tried many times to get him in. He's not been interested, but he has agreed to a loan move for us. And he is on a youth contract, so I could try and snap him up if he's happy to be a part of Full Four. That was the way that I would do it. Uh, we've got Walid Saidi on a contract. A freebie, I believe it was Atletico Madrid let him go. He doesn't look too bad. We got in a backup striker. Isaac Williams, I believe he's gone back on loan to, to Pleasant. He has. And uh, as you can see down the bottom here, we've um, broke our transfer record convincingly here for Sergio Almeida, who is an attacking midfielder, can play out on the left, can play as Eva. Um, as a matter of fact, I haven't done his development, but I want him to play out on the left. 
as an inside forward, I believe. I will just clarify that now. Inside forward attack. So they have been my signings, but I will. I'll show you this one. This guy here, Valdi Frauzo. First off, just look at his stats for a 20 year old. Finishing, first touch, free kicks, passing, technique, anticipation, decisions, determination, flair, off the ball, vision, agility, balance, pace. What a player. Four and a half stars. £20 million pound we're looking at for him. He's, um, he's a Brazilian international now. And he's so cheap. And look at him statistically. He's the man we're trying to get in now. He is so good. Um, based upon the squad right now, we do have three players out on international duty just because it's the Olympics. And unfortunately, they are going to miss our first game of the season here against Manchester United. That is how we are starting off. This is how it looks. Um, Backline hasn't changed. Um, Nunez, as uh, he's changed, he can now. He was there as an orange. I've wanted to try and mould him into a ball-winning midfielder. I have done. Stones is playing in there as a deep line playmaker, um, which is fine for this game. Um, we, we're trying to get rid of a lot of players still, so we've got a lot of work to do. Um, but uh, to be honest, I'm sitting here now thinking if we can get Almeida. The new Brazilian fella, Wanner out on the right with Endrick up top. My goodness. Here we go. First game of the season. Manchester United. Not expecting nothing out of this one. But you never know. Wow. <laughs> we've um we've been Manchester United four one. That's about two of my easily my best players. That's um, a very, very, very good start. And what makes it even better is that uh, John Stones gets uh, man of the match playing in, C um, in CDM. That's uh, pretty phenomenal, to be fair. <clears throat> very, very good start to the league. I really didn't expect that there. So here we go now. These are some of the players that I have. Uh, off well, by the way, uh, we did get a international job offer from, uh, I think it was Serbia or someone I didn't reject. I have got another one now. Uh, we will certainly be adding you to the shortlist. There we go, someone, someone not as good in that respect. <clears throat> Sorry, Denmark, I'm uh, <clears throat> not interested internationally right now. Got some more scout reports as well, in all fairness. So, attendance record has been broken <laughs> by. Over seven and a half, well, nearly seven and a half thousand by the look of things there. Um, this is what happens when we change grounds. We are now at Craven Cottage. Hendrick was named in the dream team. On the bench. And that was from the Olympics. Look at that, we sold 14 and a half thousand season tickets. Oh, look at this guy. He's already accepted a contract. Where's he going then? Oh, you are kidding, aren't you? Oh, what a shame. 
Oof. Look at this goalkeeper. There we go. This could be a game changer right here. Valdir Frazel. That is in. We are ready to go. I know he has got uh, release clauses. There you go, 98 million. Um, massive transfer there. Uh, he is the man that I want in at number 10. Uh, I think that's the only position he plays. Can play out on the left as well. I uh, just want to check my tactics. He'll be attacking midfielder support. When it decides to go down. There we go. I'm going to get my normal intensity. And then the other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to put Paul Wenner on different development. I want him to be the inside forward. I always swear it's support inside forward attack. So I was nearly correct, but not quite. But, realistically speaking, uh, holy cow, look at this. How much money do you want? No, I'm walking away from that, but that's a lot of money. And in all fairness, if we have a look on my recruitment side of things, I don't need to leave it like that. I, I'm just intrigued about that striker that Southampton have signed for four million pound. I mean, did he actually go there? I probably butchered the right way to try and find players there Sifo Reynolds yeah I've obviously missed out Yeah, a little bit gutting. Right, Joe McGee, I didn't take you off. I'm not interested in you. I did have a look for you. Martin Fisher, four stars, not too bothered. Escobar, you need to make your way out of the club, unfortunately. You are no longer really needed. So at the moment, everything is looking really, really good. So I've bought Young. Um, I have kind of bought well in the respect of um, ability. Let's see what happens here and when I do this. So when is on the bench... Stones, Amy, Lehmans, Gordon, Zier, Emery, Nunez. Frazel's in there. Okay. Let's try it. Let's see what happens. Um, draw at worst. And we win 3 1. John Stones with an own goal. But uh, Hendrick and. Valdir Frasel have already 
improved their worths. Um, I'm kind of hoping in a way that I might be building something reasonably special here. Just want to check the club finances. 26 million. We haven't been in debt for about two years, so I can't see that happening. There's not going to be no optional future fee uh, for this player. I can practically tell you that now. Been loaning, which is fine. I feel like this is something of a coup. Really, uh, it's fantastic. I didn't think I'd uh, have a four and a half star player in my my side like now i was always looking for fours but to find this guy absolute touch i think i just need to find a defensive butte and then we are well away Now we've got Tottenham now. Normally I would turn around and say like that. Uh, I would take a point here. But the way we're playing. I'm not sure. Unfortunately we've lost that game. But. I can't. Uh, help the start we've had a lot of our players seem to be playing we're doing quite well record attendance <laughs> Crazy, just a change of ground. Uh, okay. Hendrix gone down to four and a half. Is still unsettled. Is wanted by eleven clubs still. But here's where we need to look now. Jean Victor, unfortunately, is not getting in anymore. We uh we have to be completely realistic with him. Um, it's now time. He has been really good for us. Don't get me wrong. Um, in parts at times he's been really good, but there comes a time when players need to go, and there are a few of those. Obrador is another one of them. He is unsettled again. He's unhappy to have been touted for clubs. I do completely understand. Um, but I think I'll make him club captain as well, by the way. Escobar. I'm happy at being stripped of the captaincy. He's just not going to play. That's the will of it all, really. Terracoff will have come in. I think he's already rejected them once. Wendell, is that the left back Wendell? No, this is a. No, it's, can't, it's got to be the same one, isn't it? Zenit. Sporting. I'm not sure. I don't think it's the same one that I can remember. Interest in Jean Victor is high. Well, as long as someone can give me around twenty-five million pounds for him, transfer list and set player as surplus to requirements. Because unfortunately, he is now.
Right. Okay. Probably. How, how long has he got left on his contract? Damn, he's got a lot of years left. Hmm. What if I pay not thirty k a week? What if I pay eight thousand a week? Things you ought to do to get money into the club, eh? No. Keep asking the same questions. I think I should just realistically not answer the questions. <laughs> Yeah, Obrador's uh, not interested in losing, which is fine. You've just got to understand that he's not first choice left back at the club. Right in a way. Yeah, it's going to be a tough one. That's how I want the front three to look. I want to start Yusu Gonzalez. Lehman's has gone down two and a half. Okay. The only other person I'm considering the possibility of getting shot of is uh, Marcus Rogers. It's a 3-1 win. Morgan Marcus. Morgan Rogers. Just hope some of these little slide transfer deals I've made are going to really make a big difference here and currently we're uh, we're doing quite well <laughs> what do you do Obrador is stuck at two and a half. He is wanted, but he doesn't want to go. Kessler Hayden. Great for a long time. Consistent. Got to the Prem and he, he has struggled, let's be honest. Cost me eight million. It's a lot of money at that time. So I just let him go for 20 million, which is quite a poor bit of business for me, really. Clubs might not even want him from that. No, you know, if for this to happen, it has to be mandatory. He's rejected so many clubs. He was there last season, so hopefully he wants to go back. Wow, is that really true? He's gone down to four star? This guy. I tried so hard to get him. I was absolutely devastated when I couldn't get him. He's starting for Fulham as well. Okay, now this could be a way for this to happen. I 
that's Montpellier. I can't see him wanting to leave. Now I am going to be may I might might be doing the wrong thing here, but I'm picking a rotated squad. I could be doing completely the wrong thing here. Just after that start in the prem, I think that's the right thing to do. We have gone out on penalties, which is a shame we can see another last minute goal. Um, I'm not too bothered there. Yeah, and we uh, missed the penalty there. Yeah, there we go. These guys just, they just don't want to go. Unfortunately, they're just, just hanging on to the contracts they got with me. Elitiad have come in. It's non-negotiable. It's 19 million. Obradol has now become Welsh. We are Welsh folk from the south-east of England. But yeah, Welsh, that would do. <laughs> I assume that means that he probably could play for Wales now. Do you know what? I'm going to keep him around. I think I'm going to keep him around. Forest at home. Going back in with a much stronger side here. And we're accidentally going to be playing a game. <laughs> I've uh, had a bit of a mare there and hit the wrong button. And we will actually watch a, uh, a rare game for the Harriers. Sometimes it just accidentally happens. What is going on with the bookings here? It's a penalty and they have missed it. It's a bit of a funny game so far. Um, nothing to report here. Really poor first half from us. There's been a goal rolled out for Forest there as well. Games we should be doing well in the first half or in, uh, when we're at home, to be honest, in the first half. I need to make changes, I think. Right over here. Stones can come out for Contreras, who's looking a bit aggressive. Not ideal. Christensen can come out for Gonzalez. That will do for the moment. It's a goal, and it's, well, have the changes worked quite well for us? Is Hendrik? Oh, very nice. Very nice. 
Great ball over from Lehman's, I believe it was. Frazel, Frazel, Victoria, is fine. Could be his last game. No, it wasn't Lehman's with the assist, it was Pedrado. Been a bit of a poor game. Yeah, me with Escobar. Not sure about that one. Yeah, Emery with Rogers. And we change with Godrado. Not a fan of having to do my own subs, but it's my own fault for accidentally hitting the wrong button. We do come away 1 0 winners. Uh, we, we are pleased. But we managed to get the job done, and uh, we are sitting in second, just a point behind Manchester City. Didn't think I would say that at any point in everything that uh, what's going on. I did miss out on a uh, a right winger who is playing for Newcastle as well. Um, it would have cost me about fifty five million, but he was phenomenal. I'm declining. I'm not even giving them the time of day. They keep talking to me about it, and nobody's put stumping up the money, so I am not interested. No, your mandatory is going to be higher than that. At least 20 million. Twenty or nothing. It's up to you. Right, we're now going to make it non-negotiable. It's now 20 million or off you go. Swansea have withdrawn, which is fine. <laughs> oh, these people. He's now happy to stay because we, we've got a stronger squad and we're second in the league. What's going to happen if we go back down to 10th? They're all not going to be very happy, are they? Still debating on that Argentinian goalkeeper. Because I definitely need something incoming at some point. Hendrick to Wolves. And we have been linked to Danilo. This is the same Danilo that I had in at Southampton. So he went to West End 14 and they paid double the money back for him. Nah. Nah. Not really interested. No, nothing really for me to be completely honest. You lot have got to realise that mandatories are the only way forward for players that I am not interested in having around. Yeah, Victor, optional, Watford and Strasbourg have come in. I do completely understand that I am not getting a great deal here. Eight million. You are off your rockers. They're offering a massive monthly fee though.
Uh, if you look there. Uh, Overall price when the deal comes permanent is twenty one million. So have to look at it in that respect. He's quite popular for around this price. So I can't really knock that. Oh, what has happened here? I hate it when that happens. And we do have one other deal here. No optional make it permanent they seem to want to be doing this monthly fee instead and there's another one okay well Valdir Frazel has come in straight away and already one young player of the month. Oh, I've come second in manager of the month, if you can believe that. Forrest of <laughs> he's very popular. He's got a, bright, a wide range of choices. Oh, what's happened there? Make that that fine. PSG just spending two hundred and twenty million, and we have another one. <laughs> I can only but apologise for this. Because they're all got the same idea. Well, I'll be very surprised if he doesn't go now. I'm not shocked with Kane, Kessler Hayden. Do you know what? I'm actually considering dropping him into the reserves. Well, I wasn't quite so... Yeah, of all of them teams, I'm surprised that he's going to there. 19 million is straight cash. It's probably the one that's the best deal for us, if I'm honest with you. 19 million. It's basically been a straight swap with Jao Victor. And uh, the Frazel. I mean, he, he has been a really good servant for the cloud, but he just. He, he wasn't good enough, like, even at Vanarama National. I think there was a few sub-appearances in there as well, yeah, but... I feel as though 19 million is a, uh, is a nice number for us. They will probably not be very happy with uh, only getting that amount for him, but it's money into the club. It's money I'm not going to spend now. They're concerned about a couple of things. My neck. There you go, Xiao Victor. Don't want it to be optional. If Everton coming in could be quite a interesting deal.
Make that that up that to that. Guessing I haven't got a great deal of money. I'll I'll take it just to get him off my books. To be honest. You know when you've uh, had enough of a player when when you uh, put them in your reserves. Now these keep nicking all of the players that I really like the look of. There is Silfo Renault. There we go. Look. Listed for loan as a club are trying to make a profit on him. I might look into that, you know. Oh, he's not going to get that amount of money off me. How about I offer you... Twelve and a half million. Look at look at what they want. That's incredible. I'll give you thirty million. I'll give you a million quid after league appearances. I'll give you a million quid there. And you know what? After he's played twenty. I'll give you a further 500k. Sheesh. My goodness. 13 to 17 and a half. Right, let's just straight up off for 15 million and see what they say. They are holding out. <laughs> I liked him the other day, so we will try and like him now. What's a relegation release clause? That's fine, but it's going to be at 30 mil as far as I'm concerned. Now, the other one I wanted to have a look at was this Reynold. They want to do this to make some money on him. I'm not going to do anything about it yet. I think I was maybe a few days just... Oh, look at this guy. But we have got Luis Roberto coming in. We are turning in, turning the Haybridge into Brazil. Bournemouth have made a Gordon offer. What a poor offer. Can't see that sort of deal working for me. And they've come back again. It's going to take a little bit more than that to uh, try and get me to budge on that. Well, we spent eighty nine million pounds. <laughs> how are we looking on the wages? Wow, that's how much we our first season we were at seven hundred thousand. Twelve players in. Wow.
is not available. Although I will be clearing out the majority of stragglers in my defence when a opportunity arises because I feel as though I haven't got many midfielders. I've got plenty of uh, attackers, lots of defenders. Who would have thought in our seventh season? I'm willing to offer you a new four-year contract on 15 grand a week. Yeah, call in. Fine by me. Keeps me till the end of 2032. Um... Yeah, after, in amongst our seventh season, if I'll have had the side that I've got now, um, with the money that we've got, I mean, if you look, commercial income, we, we're outside the relegation zone, which is good. Um, but it's pretty crazy, to be honest, um, how and where we've got to this point. But uh, that's what it's about. It's about building. It takes a little bit of time to get everything together. Uh, everything is coming up really, really good. In respect of here, I'm a little bit behind on the episode. I normally try and like to get to 12 or 13 games roughly per episode at the moment. Uh, we're only at five, so um, hopefully we can uh, crack in some games very, very soon. Elka El Alvarez is... Uh, Excited about us playing against each other. Be interesting here. Fulham second from bottom in the division. We are in second. And we nick a 1-0 win. And this is genuinely incredible. Did Alvarez start for Fulham? Yes, he did. Probably not the way that he wanted to come back. Um, this is a uh, mental at the moment. And if we keep this going, the sky's the limit with the players that we can get in. And if we get money as well. All I want to say from this guy is like favoured personnel or favoured teams or anything like that. And I can try and sign him for nothing. Decline. <laughs> As far as I'm concerned, he's going nowhere. I think the plan is if we can ensure we become a top half club, it's been practically all the players sort their contracts out and get these release clauses out and gone. I've just seen with Almeida, he was three and a half stars in the middle. Is his development set up? It is set up on the. That's fine. Everton at the bottom here. Don't often ever expect to win with his side, but here I expect to win. 3 1. It's looking very, very good right now. And uh, take a screenshot of that. We are top of the Premier League. Luis Roberto. Luis Roberto, I should say. He can play left back. He can play centre half.
Where do I want him to play? I think I want him to be a centre half. Is that what I do? Central defend, defence, defend. Yes, it is, yeah. Yes, you can keep on doing it. It's going to cost you a lot of money, though. I fully expect that at some point I am going to lose Hendrick. Um, and I don't think it's going to affect the club too much. I could be totally wrong and be missing a 20 goal striker. Because that's what he is. He's always going to get me plenty of goals. So. We're at the Carabao Cup, which is not a bad thing for the for, sort of first on side of this, uh, this part of the season. haven't won anything for a few years now, but that's expected. Okay, they're saying that Wenner hasn't been playing well. In all fairness, he hasn't been playing as well on the right as he would do in the middle. He looks statistically from last season. Made a big difference in there in the middle. But this Frazel is uh, something else in the number 10 role at the moment. Expect to lose here in all fairness. Newcastle probably are a better side than us. I've just said about Wayne and he's just going to score twice. It's unlucky though. We're still there thereabouts. Good to see Wayner in a little bit of form there as well. I don't think I'm going to be talking about relegation much this season. I feel as though uh, we may be past that now. Yeah, normally when I've been doing these episodes, I have uh, got to practically November. I don't think that's going to happen this time around. We're probably going to be a couple of weeks shy. Got plenty of internationals sitting around the club now as well, which is nice. But I was saying probably about 10 minutes ago, 15 minutes ago now, to know where we are now after it's taken this long to get to where we're at, literally is incredible. Never, ever, ever would have thought it. Right, Stones, you can come out. I want to play Gonzalez in here. I'm just intrigued about him. He's best as a ball playing defender. And do you know what? I'm going to take out Lehman's. I'm going to play Luis Roberto at left back. Just trying something. Notice that Christensen hasn't been playing a great deal. I feel as though I can now make them changes and we can still win games of football. And we have. This Frazel is a, you know, a bit of a game changer. We we go top of the league again. Um, just to have a little look about this guy. Look at this. 98 million quid. We paid 20. He'll be probably one of the first to get a new contract. 
Kessler Hayden is doing amazing in the reserves. Can you believe it? <laughs> the board are delighted that the team is on course to win the Premier Division. Yeah. We're not thinking that far ahead. I'll say right now, top 10. It's progression. It was avoid relegation. Avoid relegation so folk get into a good area. We almost got in the top 10. And I can't believe Hendrick still hasn't been called up. Um, yeah, now, now it's getting that top 10. Um, maybe push for one of the, the poorer European competitions as such. And that's a maybe. So it's looking like we will get to the middle of October. So we're a couple of weeks behind, which is is no bother. Um, I'm still going to ensure that each season takes three episodes. Christensen, how are you doing? It's just been a lot of sub appearances for you in your report. Still at four stars. He's been really, he's been good for us. Five million quid, and he is now worth a lot more than that. So, I think I will probably get to the Arsenal game and call it a day. He still looks really good as well, but yeah, I've got to sit down and work out what I really need. In regards to next season, I'm not too bothered about uh, the only way I'll, I'll make any signings in January is if they're young players to be sort of looking forward into the club. But I think um, January is going to be the time. That's a shame with Lehman's there uh, getting injured. Uh, it's going to be about just sort of balancing the books, getting some players out, and taking it from there, really, to be honest. I think that's all. Uh, all it's about from that respect. So there we go. We are going to end the episode. Um, mental. This this here is mental. Like we've lost two games in the prem. Against two sides, a really good sides. And I think that we've been winning. So, really, really good. Really pleased with how it's going. Hopefully, we can continue it on. Let's see how we can go. Unfortunately, we've got Arsenal next episode to start it off. So, But we've got plenty of other opportunities to get some wins in. So, uh, please like this, guys. We are, you, you, if you have been following this from start to now. It's... Um, really enjoyable really good experience um hopefully I've, I've seen so many people that have done this i haven't ever really done it on this game i'm making sure that i'm going to be doing it now for for regular because it's definitely been the best save so far uh please give us a like please subscribe if you haven't we'll see you next time for another creative club episode have a good day